Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and join the fam. So today, I'm filming this pink half-cut crease added glitter look, and it's my favorite look. I, I do it all the time. It's my favorite look, and everybody's been requesting me to do it because apparently it's their favorite look too. So I'm super excited for this look. I love it so much. I do it all the time, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like, and let's get on. So basically my eyebrows are shit, um, I'm not going to say anything further than that, but let's just get started on the makeup look because that's what we're here for, right? So first I'm going to prime my eyelids with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I'm just going to... I'm going to blend it in with my finger. So the sun is being a little bipolar there. And I'm gonna set it with Classic in the Tardis Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. Okay, now moving on to the eyeshadow. I am taking samples, like, they're not really samples, they're just like travel sizes that I got from my Ipsy bag. So I'm taking, the first one I'm taking is from the Balm Cosmetics. They're both from the Balm Cosmetics. But this is Hot Mama, and it's basically a blush. It's a shadow blush. But yeah, so it looks like this. Oh dang, that is bright pink on the bottom of that brush. Now we're just working that literally around all around your eye. You can put on your eyelid, but I'm cutting the crease, so. And then I'm taking Balm Springs. It's a blush. <laughs> this one is really a blush, and it's from... The Balm Cosmetics, obviously. It's just, wait, in full swing. I think that's what it's called. To my Morphe 35B palette, I need to clean all my palettes and I need to clean everything. But this is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this bright pink right here. I'm gonna half cut the crease with my tart <laughs> with my tart shape tape in fair beige. And I'm taking this paintbrush. Paintbrush, it does the job, it works well. Why am I complaining? I'm not, so. Okay, I'm gonna go back in with the 35B palette and use that pink. Fade it. Fade it, fade it, fade it. Oh, fade, fade, fade. Just kidding, I'm not like that. Glitter glue. Glit, wait. Oh yeah, glitter, glitter. Glitter shadow primer. So I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand. Just to make it a hundred times easier. This paintbrush is so little. I'm gonna take this glue, I mean glue, I meant glitter. I have it linked down below, and what, below. I got it from Amazon and they work really good. If it's still on Amazon, I'll link it. Yeah, so I'm just gonna line that wherever the glitter glue was. I'm 
I'm gonna take my eyelash color. I don't know what it what it brand it is. It's just an eyelash color. I think it's Elf. Don't at me on that, but. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal Paris Voluminous Original Mascara. There's glitter in my eye. That is lovely. All right, and I'm gonna do this off camera, but the lashes I'm gonna use are the Hilgo Lashes in Amore. My favorite lashes, I'll also have the link, the link for these down below. Now that both eyes are done and lashes are on, I don't do bottom lashes till the end just because my concealer and foundation stuff. But I'm gonna move on to my face and I'm doing something a little different. I don't really hardly ever do this little routine, but I'm using the Too Faced Hangover Primer and this is the sample size just because I didn't want to buy the full size because what if I didn't like it or not. Um, it doesn't work well with cream conceal. I mean cream foundations. That's what I'm just gonna tell you there right now. It does not work good with cream foundations. I wouldn't use it with cream foundations. It made everything on my skin separate. So I just got the little one. Looks like this. And it's a pump. I, I like the pumps. That's good. So I'm just gonna put put it on my finger. You can see that, I think that'll be good. Cause I'm not gonna do it around my cheeks or on my forehead. I mean on my nose or my forehead because I'm gonna use that for, I'm gonna use my pore minimizing. I like the way the primer feels, it's like really refreshing, but it sucks that it's separated. It smells weird, what the heck? Okay, now I'm gonna use, I also have a sample size of this. I wanna get the full size, but I'm like broker than broke. So I'm using the Professionals by Benefit. Okay. I think you're supposed to like dab this. I don't think you're supposed to. Rub it in. I hope my grandma didn't throw away the noodles. This sounds really bomb right now. And the last thing that I'm doing for priming is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. I let her go bad. Uh, my boyfriend just texted me. <laughs> Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. For this I don't even know how to say that. In Nude Ivory. <laughs> yes, this is in Nude Ivory, and I kind of like this foundation. I never really worn it on like a daily basis, so I don't know how it is like during the days. But I wore it a little bit. Look at that pimple right there. Make an appearance. Hey Comment down below if you want a sister tag. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you later, hater. Bye. <laughs> you can still see my pimple, but I mean, we're gonna cover that up. I'm using the Shape Tape Concealer. I'll do it on my forehead too. I don't really ever conceal my forehead, but conceal don't feel. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I'm gonna set my concealer with the Airspun, the Cody Airspun powder. You can get it at Walmart or Target. The Luxie 660, yeah. Olive Garden, that's where I'm trying to go. <laughs> For real though. If he watches my videos to be honest I doubt he does so now I'm gonna bronze with my Too Faced milk chocolate sole it's light to medium and I'm gonna take my powder brush it's just a big fat powder brush I'm pretty sure just kidding I couldn't tell you where I got it from because I didn't buy it so So now I'm gonna cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Cut it. Those prices way too high. You need to cut it. So I'm taking my Jeffree Star Ice Cold Skin Frost, and I'm also taking this tapered blending brush. Couldn't tell you who it's from, but it works well as a highlighting brush. So. Now I'm going to take my Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara. It has a really small brush, if you can see that. So I usually use that for my bottom lashes. All right, so now I'm using the Insoluble Pro Spraying Set by L'Oreal Paris, and I'm just gonna set my face. <laughs> Ugh, that was disgusting. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is the end of the look. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment down below what you would like to see next because I need ideas. And I'm sorry I haven't been posting, but I'm going to try to. Can't promise you anything. I feel like I've said that before, but I can't really promise you anything. But I'm going to try. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Thank you so much for watching. My social media will be down below as well as the products that I used in this video. Thank you.